Okay. Hey everyone, it's Casey again, back with another vlog this week. It's been honestly, about three solid months since we put out a vlog. I think one of the biggest reasons why I wanted to do, you know, initially it was weekly, maybe monthly. We're gonna try to be more consistent though. This year is just to be able to look back and see, you know, where I am with my business, whether it be, you know, February, 2021, which is when we're filming this, or, you know, it's 12 months from now, six months from now, and be able to just track and look back and see where my business has taken me. been honestly quite some time since we've been able to put in full amount of work here at the office. I was fortunate enough to be able to bring on a brand new full-time business manager. Her name is Jazz. I'm going to introduce you guys to her here shortly. A couple weeks back, Tyler gave me the opportunity to bring my whole team to his summit event. It was a tremendous opportunity, especially for my new business manager, Jazz, and her daughter to really not just get to know me more, but get to know my entire team as well as Tyler's team. To be honest, it was nice to be able to take the entire weekend away from work and just focus on my team and the connections with my team as well as Tyler's. Just talking to Tyler who's been here from day one and has seen me grow from not even having a clue about real estate to last year selling over 70 homes. And this year we already got almost 20 under contract or closed. I'm just super thankful, excited to see what happens this year. And there's a ton of stuff that I've got in the works. The whole intent with Jazz here as my business manager is to be able to continue to run my business on the back end as well as technically the front end with all of the past individuals that I've helped close or sell on a home. Also another big role for her will be handling all of my client appreciation events. Obviously with uh, you know kind of the situation that we're in in our world, it's a little bit more difficult, but I really do want to give back as much as I can to those people that gave me the opportunity to do what I love. We are headed over to a new listing that I'm putting live today. And the market that we're in, honestly, there's been a huge change probably in the last three to six months, or at least more so that I've felt. Um, all of 2020, there was, you know, I was fortunate enough to help a ton of people, but I wasn't struggling as much as I'm struggling now trying to find homes for buyers. Um, I just feel like there's a ton of buyers out right now and not a ton of listings. So with this listing going live likely in just a couple hours, I'm probably gonna have it sold by this weekend. It's Thursday afternoon right now. So right now, it's really, really good as an agent to have listings uh, to ensure the fact that you obviously will continue to be in business, but you're in a, uh, in, in a position of power really, I guess, as a listing agent. Um, there's just not a ton of homes on the market. Uh, we're at the beginning of the year where we're starting to pick up inventory wise, but with as many people relocating to the Dallas Fort Worth area and just Texas in general, we're getting a huge influx of people here and not a ton of opportunities or homes to sell. So when you have that, you kind of have a situation where I have where, you know, a handful of buyers just are fighting against tons of people trying to purchase the same house. So. It's gonna be nice to have a couple new listings. I've got two this week, uh, actually one this week, one next week, and I'm speaking with a couple more people to list, a couple rather upper end and nicer homes. I'll make sure to include those in a future vlog, but uh, do have a handful of listings coming up. The market just is absolutely insane right now. It's the hardest part of my job, just so you know. I did it backwards, whatever. No, come back. So I talk about my business a lot in terms of how I'm able to generate leads. A lot of real estate agents are out there actually paying for leads. There's nothing wrong with that. I would say a majority of my business I've been able to create just through relationships. In this case, it was actually another agent that referred me his cousin. Shout out to Rafael in Houston. Thanks again for this opportunity. I met up with him and his cousin at her beautiful house here in Justin, Texas. We're actually going to get the opportunity to get this on the market. And as I mentioned in the car, I do not see this house lasting long at all. I 
even got uh, a DM on Instagram yesterday when I posted a picture of the house from an individual, an actual agent in Austin, curious about the numbers and whether or not it would make sense as a rental property. We'll see if he's actually interested or not. I'm super thankful for all the people I've gotten the chance to meet throughout being a real estate agent myself and networking with other agents, not just here locally in Texas, but across the country. It's opportunities like this that continue to allow me to do what I love. So again, shout out to Raphael, thanks again, and I'm excited to be able to get this house sold for you. Another reason why I wanted to do vlogs was just to show a lot of you guys the back end of my business, the back end of just businesses in general that you may not necessarily see. Two of the biggest attributes I believe personally have been the biggest asset to my business is first of all, my morning routine. For the past two years, I've gotten up every single morning at 4.30 or 4.45, Monday through Friday, and been able to be at the gym between 5 and 5.30. It's really just jump-started my day. It's gotten me excited for the day, and it's allowed me to start work at 7.30 or eight in the morning. I know there definitely was times early in my business where I really wouldn't even start working until 1130 or 12 in the middle of the day. And then by six or seven o'clock at night, I get tired. So really I'm not even putting in a full day. I'm just putting in about half a day. And then I think the biggest thing that has helped me in terms of growth in my business has been just surrounding myself with the right type of people. Tyler, for instance, is a great example. He's obviously built his mortgage company up to what it is today. I know each and every day I get the opportunity to meet people, to talk to people, whether it be on social media or just in person. And I saw it a ton as a high school teacher as well. Just people hanging out with the wrong people. And I promise you, if you surround yourself with the right type of people, good things will come. Also, another thing when it comes to owning your business is just hiring the right type of people. Sometimes you get the opportunity to hire someone that you think will be a good fit. Uh, and then as time kind of progresses on, it just doesn't work out. Um, this will be the third hire that I've tried to make, whether it be an assistant or business manager. I know uh, one of my prior assistants that I'm still good friends with, shout out to Casey, still watches a lot of my content as well as vlogs. I have nothing bad to say about her whatsoever. She's a great human being. It just wasn't the right fit for my business, but I'm so excited to have Jazz in here and I already know moving forward, she's gonna be a huge asset to my business. Thanks again for watching guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. It really does help. I'm gonna do my best to be consistent, whether that be at least one, if not two videos a week, whether it be about local Dallas Fort Worth content, whether it be about veterans using their VA loan, whether it be about my personal business and vlogs, or just about real estate content in general. I'm gonna have a ton of filming done this year as well as more content to come, so stay tuned.